Tim, it's not addressed to you, but I, I just said, Tim, are you surprised at the level of interest in FSR? It seems to be generating more buzz than I've seen in the community in quite a while. Really? Every time AMD releases a new product, it seems to sort of go this way. Yeah, or anything, really. Um, I guess just with, you know, we've been saying DLSS has become a really important feature, a really key feature that AMD desperately needs to counter because it's getting, it was getting pretty difficult to recommend their GPUs because of the threat from DLSS. So I guess that's yep. why the AMD community in particular was really hoping FSR would be quite something. Yeah, I think it comes from, I think, I think there's, yeah, there's there's two groups of people I think would be, have generated a lot of the interest and excitement in FSR. And the first one is what you have been saying, like the AMD community obviously is one of the competitor for, for DLSS. But I think there's as well just the, the general non-fanboy reasonable people out there that are interested in the tech market as a whole, you know, we like to see competition in any front, mm -hmm. like whether it's AMD versus Intel CPUs or AMD versus NVIDIA GPUs or features like this, you know, it's there are people out there, I know it's hard to believe because they tend to not be as vocal as the, the fanboy people, but there are people that... <laughs> enjoy the competition and you know the the battle between saying yeah. you know what's the next intel processor going to be like what's the next amd processor going to be like how is that going to compete what are the dynamics there and when you have a market where one company has been super dominant and one company has effectively a feature that hasn't been counted yet you're always waiting for what's the counter going to be so even if they're not necessarily a fanboy I think that's generated a lot of interest in sort of how are these two companies going to come at each other and compete in sort of like a neutral observer battle sense. At least that's where I found the interest in this sort of thing is not necessarily, you know, wanting one tech to succeed or the other. I'm very interested to see what each company is doing with one tech or the other and how they go about competing with one another. And I think that's generated a lot of interest. And the end result is, you know, DLSS gets better. FSR comes out and offers things to gamers that can't access DLSS, and that's great for everyone. And hopefully we see more of that and we can talk more about future DLSS, future FSR, and there'll be even more interest and even more buzz when those technologies come out. So, yeah, it's good to see people come on board and get interested in these sorts of things that I didn't think would be, you know, as exciting as the performance stuff that you've talked about in your general reviews. It's, it seems like some of these features yeah. are generating just as much interest in the community, which is great. I think another reason for that is the way that AMD announced it uh, played a huge role in that. Yeah, the marketing. Obviously, people, yeah. you know, there'd been some interviews and stuff done where it sounded like FSR wasn't really ready for prime time anytime soon. You know, they were sort of talking about this year. We were probably thinking even at this stage, had it not been released yet, you know, two, three, four months away. Yep, and we still weren't really that confident with what we were, would be getting at that point in time. And then for their Computex announcement, they just come out and say, yeah, we've got this FSR, it's coming next month. And I think what really blew the lid off it was the fact that, yeah, hey, this works on pretty much all GPUs. I mean, they didn't exactly say it at the time, but, you know, it works on our competitors' GeForce GPUs. You know, here's, a, here's how it works on a 1060. And I think that's when people really started paying attention and were kind of yeah, blown away absolutely. that the potential that you get a, a DLSS-like feature that works on GeForce GPUs as well as Radeon GPUs. That was quite incredible. Yeah, and I think the interest has then been fueled since then, since we've had the first you know, evaluations of it, is that mm -hmm. it's not a ter it's not terrible. Like I think uh, mm -hmm, some people, mm -hmm. obviously there's a, a crowd of people always with these features of anything that was expecting it to be quite bad. And you know, I still, as I talked about in my more recent view, I still think that you know, DLSS is the superior technology, but it's FSR mm -hmm. gets close enough in some situations that that again helps you know, generate that interest and excitement because if it was a feature that worked on all GPUs but it sucked, then no one would care <laughs> at all about it. But the fact that it is yeah. worth using in some situations, I think, is continuing to keep people excited mm -hmm. about it. And yeah, again, we saw all of this back when DLSS 2.0 came out and you know, it completely changed the way that it worked versus DLSS 1.0. And there's, yeah, a lot of interest and excitement back then as well. So hopefully the next feature iteration in this sort of battle keeps up that excitement because, yeah. I enjoy making those videos and yeah, going deep and talking to everyone about them. So yeah, hopefully there's more of that to come. 